माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट मी डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ वर्क पावर एनर्जी इन ए सिंपलेस्ट पॉसिबल मैनर विच आर गिवेन इन जेई मेन्स I am explaining the problems of J mains because your NEET level has increased to J mains level. That's why it doesn't matter if you even prepare the previous year questions of J mains, it will be far better for your future, especially for NEET students. I am telling. Now you can just see the previous year question asking 2021. What is the question actually here? A block of mass capital M is divided in the ratio one is to two. In the ratio one is to two means one third of the total mass, and this is going to be two third of the total mass. Okay, so it's going to be one third of the total mass. This is going to be two third of the total mass. The mass of the larger block it is given as forty meters per second, and the and the and this is the velocity of the small larger block, and the, the velocity of a smaller block is given as sixty meters per second. But it is not given here. The, what is the velocity of the larger division? Okay, it's not given. You can find out that by using conservation of momentum. Momentum before splitting is this much, and momentum after splitting and dividing is going to be this one. So momentum before splitting it is given. The velocity is forty meters per second. So m into velocity here. So smaller one is m by three. Velocity is given. It is going to be uh, how much? It is going to be sixty. It's giving me sixty here. Okay, but small, larger one is not given. You can find out larger one by using conservation of momentum. Okay, so from this you can just multiply uh, three with on both sides uh, three, so that this three gets cancelled here. So it's going to be one twenty m, which is going to be sixty m uh, plus two v two. Okay, so this is sixty. I mean one twenty minus sixty m is going to be sixty m, and this is going to be two v two. Okay. So here mass has been already cancelled here. Mass has been cancelled. So you can just write 120 is equal to 60 plus 2 v2. So here uh, v2 is going to be 30 meters per second. So uh, this larger division is having a speed of 30 meters per second. Next after that, okay. So after finding the velocity of the larger one here, you can find out the kinetic energy of this larger one. As well as the sum of kinetic energy of the two smaller ones, because he is asking us to find out what is the fractional change in the kinetic energy. So for that, the kinetic energy of the two blocks is uh, how much here? Half m by three sixty square, and this is half two by three m thirty square. So if you add them after simplification, uh, this uh, previous before collision is going to be eight hundred m. After collision, this is going to be how much? This is going to be totally 900 m. Okay, so this is 900 m and this is 800 m. So fractional change in the kinetic energy. You have to find out the fractional change. Change in the kinetic energy by actual kinetic energy. Change means you have to take the difference. So difference of these two is going to be 100 m by initial kinetic energy is taken as 800 m. So m m gets cancelled. These two zeros gets cancelled. Your answer is going to be 1 by 8. Similarly, another problem is given in the previous year, which is same year 2021. It is asked: a larger block of mass capital M moving with a speed of 40 meters per second is exactly divided into two equal halves. One is 60 meters per second, another is not known to us. You can find out the velocity of this next part by using conservation of momentum. Momentum before splitting is equal to momentum after splitting. As you know, the speed of this is going given as 60 here. Okay. Uh, the larger one is 40, and uh, uh, this part is 60 here. So conservation of momentum gives you the velocity v2 as 20 meters after simplification. Okay. So with this, you can find out the kinetic energy now. So kinetic energy of the larger block is 800 m, and the kinetic energy of the two half blocks sum, if you find out, is going to be 1000 m here. Okay. Now similarly here also change in kinetic energy, fractional change. Means you can find out the difference of these two. Difference of these two is 200 m by initial one is how much? 800 m. Okay, so it's going to be 1 by 4. And the ratio says that x is to 4. That means uh, instead of uh, x, uh, we have to write uh, 1 as the answer. So your answer is instead of x, it is going to be 1 here. That's it. Now let us go for the next problem here. A boy A and a boy B. They are pulling the same blocks and they are doing the same work. 
and they are moving the same displacement okay so here you all know work done work done is nothing but f d cos theta okay f d cos theta here work is said to be same work done by the two boys is said to be same here they are traveling the same distance that is also going to be same that means the relation is just f is inversely proportional to cos theta that means force of boy a to the force of boy b is nothing but inverse relation so cos theta b by cos theta 1 so therefore f a by f b is considered as cos theta b cos theta b means cos 60 is 1 by 2 and theta a is cos 45 is 1 by root 2 which is nothing but root 2 by 2 which is 1 by root 2 so here uh, the answer it is given as 1 by root x so instead of x you have to consider the value as 2 here that's it okay so next uh, here the kinetic energy of a moving particle becomes four times so initial kinetic energy is k the final kinetic energy has become four times you know so you should know the relation between kinetic energy and momentum k is equal to p square by 2m that means uh, p is directly proportional to root k so therefore p2 by p1 is nothing but under root of k2 by k1 so k2 is nothing but 4k by k k k gets cancelled here okay so what is left p2 is equal to root 4 is 2 that is p1 so when p2 has when kinetic energy has become four times momentum has become doubled so what is the meaning of this double means it was 100 percent that means double means 100 percent extra 200 percent it is so 100 percent extra is going to be your answer okay so change in the momentum is how much how much it is extra that is going to be the change here so doubled means 200 percent means extra is 100 percent so answer is going to be 100 percent here that's it okay now this is one more question where a block or a body has been dropped from a it will reach to b here okay he's asking us to find out what is the velocity at b generally we do this problem by using conservation of energy but i have got a simple formula for you you just take the formula v is equal to root of 2gh where height is going to be the difference of these two heights that is 1 minus 0 0.5 is nothing but 0 0.5 therefore we can write as 2 into 10 into 0 0.5 so 2 0 0.5 gets cancelled your answer is going to be root 10 meters per second similarly there is one more problem of the same type here so here also v is equal to root 2gh you can use and here same thing you have to do height difference you have to consider that is 10 minus 5 is going to be 5 you can just apply the formula 2 into 10 into 5 so your answer is going to be 10 meters per second that's it okay so like this we can solve any problem in a super simple and easiest possible manner you can just see the last problem here a chain was hanging where the total mass of the chain was 3 kg and the length was 3 meters so previously 1 kg was hanging now when we when it is slipping down completely that means when it is slipping above the away from the table 3 meters was hanging and the weight was 3 kg so here he is asking us to find out what is the kinetic energy of the chain when it is slipping completely from the table here so to find out the kinetic energy you have to find out the difference between the two works here when 1 kg was hanging you can take it as mgh 1 kg g is 10 and you know you have to consider a center of mass of the body which was hanging here center of mass is nothing but one meter means center of mass means one by two you have to consider you're getting five joules here so when it is completely slipping from the table three kg was hanging so three g is 10 here and you have to consider half of the center of mass which is three meter it was a length so three by two you have to consider 45 joules you're getting now to find out the kinetic energy here you have to find out the difference of these so that is 45 minus 5 so therefore your answer is going to be 40 joules that's it. Thank you.